I mean, the game's in good hands, 400 games. They're probably going to be nervous, but we've got the best umpires in it. I, I, I want to know, without the crowds this year, did the umpires in some peculiar way get closer to the players? Yeah, a little bit, Robbo. It's, um, people say, what was it like with no crowds? And my first response is, um, it was really peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> but, look, it was different, you know, and it was another challenge because you, you arm yourself over many years that it's a pretty tough, heated, challenging environment. You're in this stadium where two teams are, you know, battling it out and, and you got the crowd and, you know, the passion, which just makes the game what it is. And it's a huge thrill for us, but it makes our job um, even more challenging with, with those other factors. But, um, yeah, absolutely. You certainly heard more from the plays in terms of um, their chatter amongst each other in, in terms of setups and things like that. But... With big crowds, Friday night in Adelaide last week, we could hardly hear a thing with, with the crowd over there. So um, it, uh, it's a challenge, no doubt. You've done the opening bounce in three grand finals, so we thought we'd better get them out and, and grade them and see how you've gone with it. What's the thrill? What's the tension around it? Do you get... Are you confident with it? Do you know if you'll are. be doing it this time? Let's have a look. Have a look Let's have a look. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Very nice. <laughs> What are your recollections of first bounces in grand finals as you watch them? Yeah, they're... Uh, oh, nice. That's perfect. Extremely memorable and, and pretty much for the... Um, uh, not for the wrong reasons. Oh. They've gone straight, thankfully. But I've got to say, Jared, I've never been more nervous in my life. <laughs> you know, you're, a, you're, a, you're a good bouncer and hand on heart, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night, going into my first grand final where I... Um, was charged to bounce the ball. The only thing I was thinking about when the hit hit the pillow was, I just hope I get this damn ball up straight on Saturday. <laughs> and that's hand on heart. And I, I'll never forget, you know, the countdown clock too, the the marketing from the AFL and, you know, around trying to get it right on the zero. Not only are you trying to get plays into all positions, we've got the 666, you know, you've got plays trying to earn a plays, other people getting off the ground, cameramen, and then you've got this other request, can you please bounce the ball bang on zero? Mm -hmm. And you go, okay, look, I'll try my best. But, um, <laughs> you know, your heart's, your heart's racing. It's, it's 180 beats and it's, you know, I, I, I distinctly remember that West Coast, um, West Coast Hawthorne. It was 32 degrees. I just, uh, uh, I've never been more nervous. And so to put it up straight, having done it now three times, I feel... And complete as an official, and Craig Fleer will get that experience on uh, on Saturday night, taking the first one. Awesome, Matt. Thanks for your time, and well the done, very Matt. best of luck. Game four hundred and one. What a what a credit to your profession profession you are. Uh, thanks, guys. All Good the best. Day.